Hello and welcome to the CCNA Routing and Switching 2125 complete video course. One of the most basic concepts we have got to understand as a network professional is the concept of the OSI model. OSI, it stands for Open System Interconnect Model. Throughout your career, you are going to be reading or you are going to be hearing about a software or a hardware and might read that a particular hardware lives at layer 3 of the OSI model or software lives at layer 6 of the OSI model. The OSI model contains 7 different layers that we are going to be discussing and you might hear that switches live at layer 2 of the OSI model. You might hear that routers live at layer 3. Technically this OSI model is the ISO OSI model, ISO that standards body the international standard organization and they define this open system interconnect of or the OSI model. And we have said that this model has different seven different layers. Layer 1 or the physical layer that lives at the bottom of the model. Think of that layer 1 being like a floor number 1 floor number 1 on a building. As you go into a building and you are looking at the building directory, the floor starts at the bottom and go up. Same thing with, with the OSI model. The layer numbers, they start at the bottom and they go up. Layer 1 is the physical layer and the physical layer is concerned about how to get data on the wire. We are talking about the individual bits, the ones and zeros. How do we electrically represent them or how do we optically represent them if we are using fiber optics? Moving up to the layer 2, we have the data link layer. To give you one example of something that resides at the data link layer, think of an Ethernet switch. An Ethernet switch is in its basic form is a layer 2 device because it can make forwarding decision based on an address that burns into the network interface card in a pc that burns in address that burn in address is called a mac address media access control address it is a 48 bit address and this layer 2 device can make forwarding decision based on that 48 bit address moving up to layer 3 instead of make making forwarding decision based on physical address here at the network layer or layer 3, we might have some something like a router. And that router could make a forwarding decision based on a logical address such as an IP address. Most of our discussion is going to be revolving around IP, both IP version 4 and IP version 6. But remember, back in the day when the OSI model was originally created, it was meant to be a very generic model where it would apply not just to IP traffic but other types of traffic, for example, IPX, Apple Talk. But again, our main focus is going to be on IP and IP addresses or logical addresses at layer 3 and we can have a piece of hardware, a router at layer 3 that can make a forwarding decision based on those logical address. Layer 4, layer four is the transport layer. And again, to give you just a couple of examples of things that live at the transport layer we have got a couple of re really popular protocols tcp and udp for now just understand that tcp is a reliable protocol in other words if i send you a layer 4 segment that's a piece of data at layer 4 and i'm using tcp i am going to expect you to acknowledge that i want you to tell me that yes i got the data i am ready for you to send me more data Contrast that with UDP. With UDP, I will send you data and I hope you get it. But I am not going to expect you expect you to acknowledge that receipt of the date of that data. Just a couple of examples of protocols we see at the transport layer. Now the upper three layers, layer 5 or the session layer, layer 6, the presentation layer, and the layer 7, the application layer. You might be looking at a network and all of the applications and appliances making up that network. And you might have and you might have difficulty finding something that lives at layer 5. And that's okay. Please keep in mind, you do not have to neatly populate each one of these layers. Not everything fits neatly into a specific layer. 
you might have a protocol or piece of hardware that lives at more than one layer. That's okay. Remember, this is just a reference model. But in general, layer 5, the session layer is responsible for setting up, maintaining and, and then tearing down sessions. The first such protocol that comes to mind is SIP, the session initiation protocol. If you deal with voice over IP networks, where you are setting up phone calls using an IP network, many IP phones will use the session initiation protocol to set up, maintain and then tear down a phone call. Up at the presentation layer, layer 6, we are concerned about how data is rep represented on the, on the network. For example, we might format a block of text using ASCII or an old way of doing that. Something else we might do with the presentation layer is encryption. We might want to take our data before we send it out over an untrusted network like the internet. And we might want to scramble it, scramble it up. That way, uh, that way, if a malicious user intercepts that data on its way to the destination, they are not going to be able to read that data because it's encrypted. But the intended recipient, they are going to be able to decrypt the data. And up at the top, we have layer 7, the application layer. And this is one of the most challenging layer to underst understand because I think the name is confusing. When we see the name application, we might be tempted to think of something like Microsoft Word, a desktop application or a mobile application. But that's not what this. We are not talking about an end-user application that they are going to run on their desktop computer. No, something that lives at the application layer is some sort of a network service that allows other desktop applications to take advantage of that service. For example, that micro, uh, the, the Microsoft Active Directory service living at the application layer is providing that network service to end user application. And one, of the, and one of the goals I have for you is to memorize these seven layers of the OSI model. Let me share with you a couple of re really popular memory aids that can help you remember. In order these seven different layers, we could start at layer, layer 7 and go down. And if you want to remember that way, starting at the top going down, you could remember the acrostic All people seem to need data processing. All people seem to need data processing. Where the A in all reminds us of the application, the P in people reminds of the P in presentation, and so on. All people seem to need data processing. If we want to memorize these layers from the bottom up, beginning at layer 1 and then going through layer 7, we could remember the acrostic please do not throw sausage pizza away, where the P in please reminds us of the P in physical and the D in do reminds us of the D in data link. Please do not throw sausage pizza away. Remember, the OSI model is very generic. It was designed for more than just IP. IP might have certain features that live at certain layers, but that does not necessarily apply to all other protocols. The OSI model is a reference model. It's, it is not a reverence model. It is not to be reversed, reversed as the master template into which we have to plug every single application and protocol very neatly with very clearly defined functions. No, this is supposed to help us communicate with one another about different types of hardware, software protocols and it's fairly common when you are talking to an other, an other network professional to refer to a specific layer of the OSI model. But remember the OSI model was designed to be very comprehensive. It wasn't just focused on IP based protocols but typically today's network are running on IP version 4 and or IP version 6 and there's another reference model that focuses specifically on the TCP IP stack which is also known as the DOD or Department of Defense model. So we can use those terms interchangeably TCP IP model or some people say TCP IP stack or the DOD model. Let's talk about the IP centric model in the next video.